Hello, RPG Don here. Today, we're going to discuss one way to implement summons into your game. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your database cogwheel. Go to Actors, make a new slot, and create your summon. I'll just go with Summon for a name. Give it a class, so I'll choose Warrior. You can add a face or character image, but for this tutorial, we will only add an SV Battler. Once this is done, you can apply. Next, we'll go to our common events. We'll create two common events. Our first common event, we'll give it a name and no trigger. We'll click our first black diamond, tab 1, change party member, choose our summon, add and OK. Once that's done, we'll click apply. Our next common event will be to tell the game that we don't want the summon in our party after the battle. We'll give it a name that we can remember, set the trigger to parallel, and create a new switch. Name it Battle Over, Apply, and OK. On our black diamond, we'll change party member and remove our summon. Click Apply. Now we'll make a skill that will summon our summon. Skills, make a new row, give it a name, an image, a description, a skill type, your MP cost and TP cost, scope, none, occasion battle screen, your message, your weapons, no damage needed, but under effects, we'll click a row, go to other, common event, and choose our summon common event. Click OK and apply. On each of your maps, where there are potential battles, you will make an event, priority below character, trigger parallel, black diamond, tab 1, control switches, and choose battle over, and put it on. Click apply and OK. Once all this is done, and you have given your new skill to the class you want it to be given to, you can test your game. Always remember to save before testing. We can now fight and check our skill, Summon. Our Summon skill summons our Summon to the battle. When the battle's over or you escape, our parallel event on the map desummons our Summon automatically. That's it for this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of what I should make a tutorial about, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.